praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Understanding times and seasons. The children of Issachar, they understood time and seasons. They know and they understand what they ought to do when things begin to happen. These are the children that always consult heaven. They always consult God in anything they want to do. Brother, in this your season, in this my season, let us learn how to consult God, how to hand over things to God before we can move. Let God move with us. Let God go with us in this journey of life. Are you there and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior? This is the first step. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. It is something you can do in your closet. You don't pay any, you don't pay anything for that. Nobody will give you an oath. Nobody will say, uh, you want to do this? You want to do? No, 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 no. No rough obligation. The only obligation you have is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Also, love God. And as God has loved you, even when you were a sinner, when we were all sinners, he loved us and he gave us his only begotten son. That whosoever, whosoever, no religion is mentioned, no volition is mentioned, whosoever, and that word is sacrosanct, it cannot change, whosoever, are you a Muslim, you are included, whosoever, are you a Hindu, you are included, whosoever, that believe in him, will never perish, but have everlasting life. Brother, hand over this journey. Hand over your business. Hand over your mission and your vision. Your plans to the hand of God. And God will breathe into it. And God will manifest his glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastic chapter 19. Ecclesiastic chapter 19. Mali Shakoria. Ecclesiastic chapter 19. Ecclesiastic. Ecclesia. Hallelujah. Are you there or you have disappeared? Ecclesiastics. Chapter 19. Did I say Ecclesiastic? Praise the Lord. No, Luke chapter 19, sorry. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19, verse 44. Luke chapter 19, verse 44. And I read. From verse 43. For the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee. Ecclesiastics chapter 19, verse 43 to 44. Praise the Lord. Verse 44. And shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee. And they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another. Because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. You see, a time is coming when all kinds of enemies of this world we come against humanity. Come against you. Come against your children. Come against your friends. Then you wouldn't know what to do. That time, if you know the time of your visitation, you will know that that is the time that God wants to show face in your case. That is the reason. That is the reason. No affliction will come a second time. 
Are you hearing me? There shall be no affliction, no affliction that will come a second time. Praise the Lord. Affliction shall not come a second time. Are you hearing me, brother? Or you have disappeared? There are people who had all kinds of afflictions in life. But because they knew the time and seasons, they were able to overcome. One of them was David. David was a bush boy. David was a shepherd. David was a headsman. Always in the bush. But God ordained him a king. From that obscure condition, that uncertain condition, God raised him and anointed him a king through the man of God called Samuel. And he became a king. There is another David in the making in your life. Right where you are, you may have lost hope. But there is a David in, your, in you that is going to speak one day. From that corner where you are, God can raise you from there and make you the king that you are. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is not the end of your life. This is the end of the journey of life in your life. Remember that David was a shepherd boy. And when God wanted to anoint a man, a king, after Saul has been rejected, the family of Jesse was elected. And when they got to the family of Jesse to anoint a king there, all the qualified people were there. Qualified in the eyes of man. Qualified in appearance. Qualified through bank account. Qualified through physique, physical appearance. Qualified through education. Qualified through all kinds of things that matters in this world. When Samuel got to the house of Jesse, they prayed and the Lord said, there is a man in this house that will take over from Saul. Uh -uh. And they brought the one they believe that is most qualified. One of the sons of Jesse, who was a general. His name was Eliab. 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 He was a general in the army of Israel. And they said, oh, this is the one they are talking about. And the man was like, yeah, God has remembered me. All the battles that I have won in the, for the nation, they have remembered me. Maybe the king has known the quality in me. And when the effort was carried around, when the staff of office was carried, and he said, this is not the 